Howdy, folks. It is a pretty nice morning. Pretty overcast. The sun should be coming out at some point. It's about 60 degrees, a little windy, so a little chilly because of the little bit of wind. But I'm out today in this lovely little prefabbed dock and the Lake Conway Nursery Pond. It's, uh, generally, you're never allowed to fish here. It's where they grow everything they like to stock into Lake Conway. But with Lake Conway being drained, and it's still draining, and uh, people are upset that <clears throat> that lake is going away. So they caught as much as they could out of Lake Conway, Fish and Game did. They stocked it into their nursery pond, then loaded the hell out of it with bait fish, <clears throat> you know, sunfish, minnows, stuff like that. And then they took this dock, which they had put on the lake recently, and they brought it over here, and they built a boat ramp, and they said, hey, why don't you guys go fish in there? And hopefully their plan is that there will be some nice fish still living in here and not just, you know, destroyed by the locals coming to eat them all. That when they refill the lake, they'll have a hearty population of fish that they can just dump right back in there. So I've come. We're going to try to catch us some of these catfish they put in here. They stocked it with the uh, largemouth and crappie and then tons of sunfish and minnows for, you know, eating for the other fish to eat. So hopefully I can get some of those. Hopefully this wind isn't too obnoxious. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna rig up, get some baits out, see what I can find. All right, as usual, first things first, gotta get our tight line out there. Which means we gotta get some shrimp out. Shrimp is pretty frozen. There we go. Work. Break that in half. Got my big blue rod here. Still waiting to catch a good fish on it. Thought I finally had one yesterday, but it spit the hook before I even got to see it, which sucked because it was the only dang fish, the only bite we got in like a four hour time frame. Take this guy, whip him way out there. I don't know how deep it is out there. I'm just gonna let that sit for a while. Rig this one up. There we go, good enough. I'll throw that one over there. Freaking kayak. And then to keep myself busy, got my light action here with a little brown and gold six ounce rooster tail. That should be reasonable enough. Kind of whip around and reel back in. I don't know what the hell that kayaker was doing. I talked to him before I got on the dock and he said he was going over there because he kept seeing a ton of action. And then he immediately came right in front of me to like go right through my lines. Like, the hell dude? Hmm. Just saw something small come up and bite this. Which makes me think, maybe, Fishing a little too big for right here. And my really small stuff is in the car still. So I'm gonna go get it. Yep. Rigging up my other rod. This one damn near went in. Oh boy. I didn't bring my net down here. I maybe should have. least I'm gonna need 
fish grips to try to land this guy. This will be interesting. Catfish. I'm gonna guess it's a channel. It's a nice channel cat. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, fun part here. I gotta land him. And then I think I might go and get my net. Come here, buddy. You are the biggest fish. I have caught in a good while. Open your mouth up. Yeah, well, it'd be easier if you just open your dang mouth so I could grab you. Because I want to weigh you. Come on. There we go. <clears throat> All right, I bet he's around six pounds. Respectable. My pliers, let's get the hook out of him. Yeah, I guess I should go get my net. Well, not a very big hook. Like I've always said, you don't need a big hook to always catch big fish. Let's see what this guy weighs. Good about guessing fish weight anymore. Four pounds, nine ounces, four and a half. Pound and a half off. I guess it's not terrible. But what's really not terrible is that fish. Look at him, listen to him croak. You can hear him over the wind. Ha! All right, I'll take that. Thank you for playing. Yes, yes. You gotta let go. There he goes. All right, first fish down. Uh, what was I, oh yeah, I was getting this thing rigged up. Well, before I deal with this, I guess I should get that rod back out there. Too excited, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. This fish got me going all kinds of which ways. Need a new shrimp. So, I went to the car to get my little fish stuff. Because my rooster tail has gotten a couple little nibs, it felt like, and I saw a small fish come out of the depths here and attack it. And there's these feeder boxes here. So I figure fish are hanging out here. So I've got this little jigging minnow guy. I figure I can just kind of let him sink out there, down to the depths a little. And then just pop him around, see what happens. That's going to be my goal for a little bit and to catch more catfish. That was good. There's one. What? What? I don't know if y'all saw what that fish was. That was a rainbow trout. What the hell is a rainbow trout doing in here? That doesn't make any damn sense. What the hell? Oh, he came off. I think it was another trout. What the hell are trout doing in here? God dang. Not a very big trout either. 
I wonder if they just filled this full of all their extra trout because uh, February is their last month of stock. If they had a bunch left over, they didn't know what to do with it. They may have just dumped them all in here just so people could have some sort of fun. Because it makes no sense for trout to be in here. And there, this area isn't listed on the stocking reports. And trout aren't listed as the type of fish to be stocked in here. So I don't know what the deal is. But not having a ton of action aside from two trout bites and that first catfish. This wind is kind of ridiculous. Frankly, it looks like it might rain. So, I'm gonna give this a little more time. Let's see what happens. Well, just as I was saying, not having a ton of action, this rod got hit again. And, because I kinda didn't think I was gonna get any more fish, I never went and got my net. So now I gotta land it like an idiot again. Ugh. Why can't you get anything, blue rod? What are you, cursed? A nice catfish. There's a stick on my line. Hit. Nope, I'm caught up on other wood. My line getting tangled on everything. Try to get one piece of wood off, I get snagged up on another piece of wood because the fish wants to go for a dive. I gotta get it off of there for it. There we go. There we go. Whoo! It's another nice one. I gotta. Oop. He went for a run right when I was gonna let some line out. He ain't done yet. I need you to calm down because it's going to be stupid to try to land you because I didn't prepare correctly. It looks a little bigger. Let's bring the rod down under here. That way it's a little bit easier. I'm down yet? Enough for me to get a hold of you? At least you got your mouth open. Alright. That's another good one. What, did you swallow the hook? You sure look like you did. Oh no. Ah. Oh. Luckily, catfish, very hardy, can be out of the water for a good long while. Stay there. Yep. Alright. That got pulled out of his mouth. Which means we can help you out now. Alright. Open back up. Okay. Open it up. Yep, can't even see the hook. Which means you're keeping it. Sorry, pal. As much of this line as I can. That one has got to be bigger than the last. Ugh. Let's just slip them on the weight. All right, half a pound bigger. Five pounds, one ounce. Last one was four pounds, nine ounce. All right, well, he's got a fat belly on him. I do need at least one picture with a fish for today. That looks pretty good. All right, thanks for playing, pal. Back down in the water.
There he goes. Well, I guess I'm staying longer. Let's, I gotta retie that. Probably need to rebait this. Let's have a look. Feels like there's no bait on it. Yeah, empty. All right, well, let's reset everything up. Get back out there, I guess I'm staying. Blue rod, finally on. And I get to see how it feels to reel in a nice fish on it, because I haven't caught anything but snagged little shad. It's definitely got a little more power than the medium over there. But my little grip thing right here seems to be slipping around a little. It's just not seated all the way right, which is a little concerning. Ugh. Nice fish, nice fish. Well, there's one thing this lake's got, this little nursery pond. Plenty of channel cats, decent ones too. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good one. Ha! Maybe I'll finally have the six pounds here that I thought I had the first time. I also went and got my net. This dock is not meant for landing larger fish, I think, because I had to really stretch to net this guy. Oh yeah, that's a much better fish. Much better. Where are my grips? Where have I left them? Oh, they're in the chair. I get excited and I just start throwing things places. Come here, bud. How bad are you hooked? Ugh, not that bad. It's definitely in there a little ways. This is where I need long pliers. Mine are kind of short for this. Luckily, catfish got big mouths. There we go, got it. You are definitely getting weighed. I actually have longer pliers somewhere Jacob got them for me for Christmas because I often have this problem and I don't know what I did with them hold still there we go 612 all right let us look on our nice catfish that's a good fish fun rod did nice it felt nice definitely stronger than uh, my medium here. They're the same length, but that one's thicker carbon inshore rod. Ugh. Let's get you back in the water. Yep, yep, twisting around. You can't, you can't twist free until I unclamp. Now let go. You gotta let go. See, that's why it's important to have your little grabby bit at the end. Should have had it on my wrist, but at least I was holding on to it because he ripped these things right out of my hand when he started twisting. <sighs> All right, we're having a good day. Wind and maybe rain be damned. Looks like something may have this one. Yep. And I still got it? Yes, still got it. Felt like it popped out for a second. I'm doing pretty good on catfish today. This is turning out pretty good. Well, rangers are here. Just in time to see them fish.
A lot of nice cats in here, it turns out. Well, they stuck some three pounders. They're definitely bigger than threes. Well, they, uh, we stocked three pounders from the hatchery, but they may have shocked some and brought some bigger ones from the lake. From what I was reading last night, they caught a bunch of stuff out of the lakes to put into here. Well, I don't know how much. I don't either, but I haven't caught anything uh, under four pounds so far today. Good. Yep. Did you catch any trout yet? I have seen some. I hooked into two, yeah. but uh, oop. That's pretty know. nice guy. Only three to four pounds. I'm gonna put him at about four and a half. Let's oh, see okay. how close it is. But yeah, I've seen some trout. I hooked into two of them, but I haven't. Uh, I saw one over there just a minute ago. Yeah, I've seen some jumping around. Yeah. I haven't been able to land any. Five five. All right. That's pretty good. Second biggest of the day. So, it's a nice little fish. Oh, you got a video camera? Yeah. Oh, okay. <coughs> well, I better get on out of here then. Oh, I don't mind. I gotta go get some bolts to fix that deck anyway. Yeah, it was like that even if it was at the other spot. Yeah, I don't like the screw down deck screw in the metal yeah it, it don't hold super well if i had to do it over again they would have put joyce next to all those uh well glad you're catching something i am too it's been a rough couple months are you gonna post that video yeah my youtube channel is a uh, awful angler because i'm not good but occasionally i get lucky well that's liable to bring a lot of people out here yeah <laughs> and i don't know how i feel about that but you know well, you post fish like that yep might blow it up a little bit luckily not a lot of people watch me oh okay <laughs> well i think that does it for me been quite a while since i had a bite and uh this wind pretty obnoxious it's a little cold luckily i got these trees up in front of the jeep right now blocking it but i think that's gonna do it uh, what time is it? 11.40, so about three hours here. I caught four fish, hooked into two little rainbows that came off, but four nice catfish. I think uh, definitely a place I'm going to be coming back to. So it's a nice little spot. I can walk the entire shoreline. It's, I don't think I want to. And I can also bring a kayak here when it's not so god dang windy. And hopefully I can eventually find some of those crappie and bass that are in here. I don't know why there's rainbow trout in here. It surprised the heck out of me, but oh well. With that, I'm going to drive home, find something to eat, see what the rest of my day entails. I'll see y'all later.